so hey guys welcome back to another video so, hope you all are doing well so today uh, we have akash here so akash is a very good friend of mine so akash is someone who has cracked a lot of companies so if i name them they are uh, nomura he has done a six month internship at nomura then he has cracked uh, hexaware tcs and then uh, currently is working as a software developer engineer at kantar so today we are going to ask akash how he has exactly cracked this company what is his experience about this and at the same time i forgot to mention that he has was a someone who has also went to the uh, hr round of cisco so he has also cracked the technical rounds of cisco as well so we will have him and we will ask him uh, what are the processes involved how, how what what were the preparations involved and yeah so let's go with akash experience and welcome him to our channel So let's welcome our car sir. Hey, our car. Hi, Kishor. So let's start with your introduction. Uh, I am our car, and I just finished my bachelor's from Kochi University of Science and Technology. I was an intern at Namura Holdings for the duration of January to June, and as a full-time employee, I will be joining Kantar as a software engineer one in Ju from July first onwards. So I'd like to tell my viewers that our car is someone. Who has cracked uh, not only Kantar and Nomura, he has also cracked Tixier, uh, Hexaware, and uh, anything else? Uh, I don't see anything else on the list. <laughs> okay, so whatever Akash uh, tells us or shares the experience, that will be very valuable for you. Okay, so Akash, let's start with your uh, experience with Kantar. Like, what was the process involved? Uh, how did you exactly crack this company? So like Kanta came to our campus uh, during the month of March. Uh, the first it, uh, the first round was basically a uh, aptitude as well as a code uh, which aptitude and code snippets were there in the form of three sections. Uh, it was basically uh, like who dare, who does this first and who copies better about aptitudes and all. And then after that it was a coding round which was scheduled to be which was to be scheduled at. Our college itself. By that time, I was in Mumbai. But when I got to know Kanta visiting our campus, I just had to go to our college for the coding round. In the coding round, we had a pen and paper coding round. So basically, we were given two questions. One was a two-pointer concept in which two strings were given. Where we had to just find out a way whether while doing one operation, which can be insertion, deletion, updation, update, and then. The two strings can be made equal or not. We just had to return a bool value. And the other question was like, when uh, where an array is given, whether the array can be split into two parts which are of equal sum, and which uh, can which which was I did using dynamic programming. Uh, the uh, and it since it was a pen and paper, it will, it will be much better for you if you write the complexity over there. And the approach, intuition over there, that will be much easy for the uh, examiner to examine your answers over there. Okay. Like, how do you rate this round? The difficulty wise. Uh, the difficulty was, I would say, it was not so tough, not so easy. It was just like, uh, and it was the time span was very less. It was just like if you have done the question before, then only it would be easy to crack. Otherwise, it was somewhat. Uh, the time uh, time constraint was like it's difficult to like think for a new question over there. Both of the questions were you can rate it as a medium. Yeah. Difficulty. Medium difficulty would be better. Exactly. So, like, how many of you were selected for the interview? I guess uh, 12, 12 or thirteen people were there in the coding round, and after that, I guess six people were there in the interview round. So in the interview round, uh, basically I was the second person to go for the interview. So when I went over the interview, the in interview was uh, like pretty much uh, knowledgeable, I would say. When the the interviewer saw my resume, his first statement was like, "Your projects are not that worthy." Uh, so my counter statement was like, "I haven't worked much on the development side of the. I would prefer doing BSA over development." So he was like pretty much happy over the thing. So he started me grilling for the data structures and algorithm question. 
initially started with the linked list like how, what are linked list and all then he gave gave me an uh, approach for like inserting a inserting in the mid of the linked list the, its intuition then he came to the array about the question which i solved like he asked me whether it can be solved with a much better complexity then i then there was some other debate over there and then he asked me how did you think of this intuition and after that he was he went to the <laughs> trees in trees he asked me about the binary search tree binary tree the difference between them and then he asked me to to draw the structure of a binary search tree and write the code snippet for it and then he asked me to can you convert a binary search tree into an array so that was my uh, here the dsa parsons and then he started me for the sequel he he told have you ever worked on sequel since i was good at sequel he start he asked me two to three questions which were basically on inner join and group by and order by statements and after that that was over for me to this round lasted for like 45 to 50 minutes oh that was that is a good time yeah and so how do you rate this round according to like how how much well you performed in this round uh, actually my performance are pretty well but uh, the thing is like it was just starts aligning my side uh, i the the interview only asked me those things which i was good at he didn't okay. went, went to the dark side of my study <laughs> which i don't <laughs> know yeah so uh, did it tell you that you will be moving to the hr or uh, you no, got to night later uh, we were just uh, made to sit over there for like one and a half hour or something and then mm-hmm. the hr called our name that we had. then the, uh, i guess uh, two people were called for the hr round so like in the hr round it was pretty much more difficult for me than the technical round hr round she was like uh, why are you still uh, like uh, she was asking why are you still not placed here in much later part of the placement season uh, but the yeah. thing is like even though you are placed you cannot tell the hr that you are placed uh, yeah, that would be yeah. doing intensive but no more yeah that, that would raise a concern on her mind like uh, whether we should be offering or, or not so yeah. always if such a question comes always answer we don't have any offer at present time exactly that was like my it went well yeah and then when was the result announced uh, the result was announced just after the interview when the both of our interviews the interview jo hua uh, the hr mm-hmm. congratulated us for the event mm-hmm. and yeah that was the pretty much end of the whole process okay so like this was all the all about the process of contact yeah, yeah so uh, do you know something about the company what is the work life culture there or working uh, there at contact uh, as much as i know it's a, one of the best companies for the market research they mm-hmm. work on innovative ideas and ai is the main thing mm-hmm. and the work life balance over there it's like uh, it's it follows a hybrid work culture and the hybrid work culture you have to work for two days in office and three days is work from home and uh, in the aspect of tech stack they use almost everything every uh, cutting edge technology they don't work like other companies which uh, work on old technologies and everything okay okay so i was talking as like uh, you have also tagged other companies as well so one of them was nomura yeah so and also uh, agas was someone who went to the ra- last ra- round of cisco as well yeah so like could you share your experience firstly the intensive experience of nomura like uh, what you have worked for, there for six months uh, for nomura i for nomura it was pretty much easy for nomura mm-hmm. first round was pure apt uh, for a uh, pure aptitude then uh, followed by the aptitude there were two inter- two technical interviews and one okay. hr interview hr interview is basically a formality the technical interviews was like if you know java then you are like so pretty much favorites for them even though okay. there was no java in my resume they keep me telling through java no but the thing was that most of the concepts as were similar so it was pretty much easy yeah and uh, i went to namura as an intern in from january uh, my the team which i got allocated was for compliance service i don't know how my luck was <laughs> how bad my luck was in my team basically my team's work was like uh, it was support role pure support role the first thing i would have seen that 
the thing which my manager told me on my first meet was i cannot allocate you any work over there because you don't have any production access and uh, we don't have much time to give you a knowledge for so many applications and later when i was working so my task in my team was already over other people used to assign me some tasks some tasks such as power bi dashboards were there then was it was a knowing excel vba visual basic and analysis mostly data analytics sort of thing and service now the the worst part was like i was made to learn service now for one month and then i was told there is no work for it so my team basically what they do is like whenever like a new person is getting on boarded or off boarded they just take care of the accounts user account they just deactivate the accounts or activate the accounts if a person wants to get send or receive some gifts over there they will be there and they will be requiring approval for that my team was like uh, accepting the approvals uh, these all things were done these are basically support roles so no no proper tech work the no one in my team was not te- uh, technically sound everyone was like doing the thing what uh, what is pretty much uh, defined in a way everyone was following it there was a documentation like you have if a such user query comes you have to follow this that was all about my team so like yeah. as a fraser it is more dependent on luck what you are going to get at uh, in namura most of it depends on the team in which you are getting uh, mt okay, nice. <laughs> team over anything so now like uh, you have cracked this company so could you please share it, what is your like how can someone prepare for this to crack all of these companies like you have almost cleared all the technical round of all the companies cisco namura kanta tcs like server everything so if, is there any something you would like to say about it like everyone has a dis- different uh, aspect of learning and all so my my development side is very big i would agree i have never done much sort of development in my entire entire learning curve my whole point was de- data structures and algorithm that too wasn't much strong but it was uh, that much uh, sufficient to crack those interviews and i would say you prefer better prepare a resume in such a way that would highlight your pros or cons like uh, better highlight the things in which you are good at it's not like uh, if i am bad in development i am putting some very quick great projects over there it's just like i put projects such a projects that uh, that the interviewer won't even focus they would focus on other things like uh, data structures and uh, algorithms or sql that was that is like if you know something better highlight that on your resume if you don't know something better keep it just low that would be better also as far as our on campus placement is concerned if you are good at dsl like, then you can crack it yeah there was a company yeah data structure is pretty much a easy way to crack companies development is also great development is pretty much great for off campus placements uh, yeah. since i don't have much experience or development i can't comment much yeah, exactly anyways like you have said many things to our viewers and i i hope it fair, uh, helps them a lot yeah and yeah thank you for coming on uh, thank you thank you bye bye